Good morning audience, whoever you are. Um, got another bite at the cherry that's gonna be fishing in Antigua from the shore using some basic spinning equipment. This is a nine foot, 10 to 40 gram, nice spinning rod. Um, that's not a massive rod for shore fish though. And we've got, for example, a uh, rooster popper, um, that's £12.95 um, and this one has good reviews for Antigua. I'm not fighting fighting the system and experimenting this time. I didn't have enough success last time. Lures that failed last time, um, that kind of almost had success. That's a sh quite shallow diving, floating one. I'm not sure I was violent enough with my retrieve for a lot of things. Um, that's like a wedge, that didn't do anything. Um, this kind of attracted fish, but, and this one did actually catch fish with its tail, but little, tiny, tiny fish. Um, and they would honk when they were out of the water. It was really quite funny. I don't know what they were. They're almost like baby permit or something. That would be what you would imagine permit to be. Um, it was using, this um, as a filled with water um, and dragged about that in front of the lure. So kind of generating some interest for things to come in. But I didn't think that I was able to cast far enough out, especially in Jolly Beach Resort. You find yourself with very little features and nothing to hold the fish, no, no reef out front, nothing. So it's not a good place to fish, but people have caught fish out there. I think if you're willing to wander up and down and really hit it hard, and if you've got a shore spinning gear rod that you know you can cast out 60 grams, um, then then you can do that. But that was what I was going to try, and that will be next time. This time I still I want to try some other waters where I still don't necessarily need the distance, and um, I've got, for example, my reel is a just a Shimano. 4,000 um, and that I think is 25 or 30 pound braid on there. Um, I've got some 30 pound braid I'm taking with me and some 30 pound monofilament to try that as well. If I get spooled, um, I've got some backup. So um, yeah, so other lures, that lure also didn't work. Um, but I kind of think that will work as well at the same time at some point. This didn't work, it's like a, a rubber thing with a flappy tail. I've got lots of examples of things that didn't work. This time um, hopefully it's going to be different, we've got the rooster and I've just got some deliveries in so we're just going to have a look at, a look at that. Abu Toby, small, 20 gram lure, nice big hook and a strong. That is gonna hold, get a good hook hold, hopefully. Tormentor, I'm gonna to torment the fish or they're gonna to torment me. Here we go, that, the x wrap, highly acclaimed. Um, we're gonna see how well that does in the ocean. If we've got the motion in the ocean, we might catch a fish. So that's, it's got a rattle. It's got a little bit of a tail thing going on. And Rapala, by far and away, for me, I've had more pike on Rapala than one Rapala that I had, that's now not, I don't have any more, used to catch me no end of pike. And I've had a barren piking season. So all these lures I've just shown you, not the new ones, um, I've, I've not caught either in the rivers around here, so um, it's got a spinning lure there, just a reflex red. Um, I don't hold much stock in that. People have said that they haven't had much on spinners and things, but we'll give it a go and another tormentor. So I'm all set for for a fish. Now what have I got in here? What have I ordered here? Isn't it? I don't have that many orders, but this one. 
kind of box in me. This is the unboxing. Ah, yes, business cards, of course. As I forget, for Best Antigua, we're going to be promoting our marketing services on the island, because that's what I do. Um, first, my first look at it. Yeah, not bad, that'll work. Um, if you can see that very clearly. And it's double-sided. And apparently I can write on these, it's got a finish that I can write on. I built these with Vistaprint and used their, um, their online tool and created my graphics and imported them in. So we are boxed up and ready to go. So there you go, I haven't made a video in a, in a good while um, and I think they're better to be slightly longer and less frequent, probably talking about a subject that you're interested in. So in this case, it's gonna be the lures and stuff. Um, probably gonna take these out of the packaging to save on weight because we're gonna be pushing the limits of all of that stuff. Uh, note to self, need to get a few things like swivels and stuff and get all my devices charged up and ready to go. So hopefully, um, have a look on antigua.fish for our last fishing session and hopefully by the time you read this, uh, see this, we will have updated the website and check out bestantigua.com as well. Um, that's our main website. Antigua.fish is more of my hobby thing. So I love fishing and and doing it in Antigua with all of these wild species. And when you see a, a tarpon that you spe suspect to be in excess of 100 pounds leaping in the lagoons back of Darkwood Beach, it, it gets your pulse racing a bit, especially when you've got a little spinning rod with um, 30 pound test on it or something like that. So yeah, I'm pushing the boundaries of what you can do with what I've got. I'm not going out there and getting all the gear with no idea. I'm not having the gear with no idea, so we may as well try that first. Um, and honestly, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And I got a couple of tarpon that were interested for a moment, but by and large, tarpon are not, not lure fish, um, so I'm coming to learn. And they've taken on the fly very successfully in Antigua. Go and look up, um, it's also on our website, antigua.fish. Go and check out Nick on there if you, I would do his tour if I, if I had more confidence fly fishing. I've only ever done it once many, many years ago, and I think it would be a wasted day doing that because I'm not good enough. So I, it's, it's on my list to practice fly fishing and go out there and do that. He does do um, some, some fly casting training. And if I was there two weeks, that would be on the list, I think. So really hoping that we get on a deep sea trolling uh, charter as well, but let's see. So thanks for watching, over and out. Bye.